Hello, I'm Andrew Lissim and welcome back to Mod Light, where we have a look at some mods. This time we're back in GSP and we're looking at a mod we've already looked at before, but which has got some very tasty additions. So, BD Armory, you probably remember, uh, kind of a combating mod for KSP. However, a few things have been added recently, which are uh, pretty damn tasty. So, if we... Uh, let's load up something. Let's load up... B9... Uh, which one is it? Which one is it? Haldeman armed. Right, so as you can see, pretty standard, a lot of things you expect. However, there is this. Countermeasures pod. So now, uh, you don't actually have die if a missile is fired directly at you and locked on, which before, well, you could dodge them, but it was incredibly hard. Now you have countermeasures pod, so if you know a missile's being fired at you, you can fire off countermeasures, take some evasive maneuvers, and... You have a decent chance of surviving. It's not always guaranteed. It really depends on the nimbleness of your craft and all. But uh, it at least gives you, you know, a small chance at that. Uh, in addition, we now have uh, rocket pods, which I don't think were available last time I had a look at this. These are dumb fire, so they do not lock on. They just fire straight ahead. And we've got a couple of other small additions. So if we have a quick look into utility, we have a new a howitzer. Radial, which has a little bit of maneuverability, not much, but it fires off the 105mm shell. Uh, the same thing you find on the uh, AC-130, which I'm pretty sure is why this is included. And we also have a selection of new missiles. So we've got, you know, things like uh, a hidden Vulcan cannon, some nice missiles and so on. Uh, we do actually have something extra. We have aimers now, by the way. So we have a bomb aimer which is pretty damn accurate and uh, means you can, instead of just relying on luck like I did in my last video, you can actually get pretty decent shots. But also, we've got a couple of other very tasty things. So let's launch this. Uh, let, yeah, let's clear the runway. That's fine. So, now we have a couple of options. If we right-click on here, we can see things like guard mode, team. I'll come to them in a second. But we also have armed. So by toggling armed, you can arm your weapon system and disarm them. So if I switch through to... Here we go. The Hydra rocket pod. If I am armed, false. I'm trying to fire it now. I'm clicking... Can't fire it, but if I am armed, you can fire. You might also wonder what this green thing is in front of you, and you go suddenly, oh, that's an aiming reticule. And you are right, we do in fact have an aiming reticule, as you can see it's off to the side, because we are currently firing from this pod. And when we fire, I believe, it switches to the other side. Uh, it also applies for the GAO, as you can see now, we have the, uh, the GAO selected. And that's pretty damn useful. It allows you to actually, you know, third-person fire. Uh, that's a really nice addition, and it does work incredibly well from my experience. It does seem to be pretty damn accurate. However, let's get on to the real addition. And let's possibly disable my firing so that I can't accidentally do that. Uh, no weapon none. There we go. So the guard mode and the team system. Here we have a missile truck. And here we have something with a lot of guns. So, yeah. Should we explain the one with a lot of guns first? So, if you go and find the weapon manager, and if you click switch target type to target missiles, false, true, false, true. We'll go on false for now. Switch guard mode, false. So, right, if you've got it like this, it's the first time you load it up. It says guard mode false. You have to click toggle guard mode. True, and then you have to right-click out and then right-click back in just because you need to refresh the menu. And suddenly you have scan interval, so this is the number of seconds it will wait before checking for a new craft. I don't know if it's seconds or ticks. I believe it might be seconds, but I'm not certain. So if we make it check every... Yeah, every eight seconds, the default is fine. Uh, and field of view, 360 degrees. And guard range, let it, let's let it guard out to... About 1,800 meters. Just because, you know, these guns aren't particularly accurate, but that range will be interesting to test at. So, as you can see, we have a lot of different options, including team. We won't switch to team for now, but it's on team A. So what we're going to do is we're going to take from our jet, fly away, change to team B, and then fly back. And hopefully it should be firing at us. So you can change the guard type to missiles, true or false. Uh, I believe it should also affect these guns. So if we toggle turret. Toggle turret. So we're back in our plane. Let's put on SAS, throttle up a little bit. Now these B9 engines, by the way, this is a B9 stock plane. Uh, if you go over 
two thirds for us, they kick in the afterburner. So I'm not going to kick in the afterburner. We'll just take off as per usual. So take off our brakes, and unfortunately, oh, there we go. Ah, it's better than KSP normal wheels. KSP normal wheels, the brake doesn't update very fast. So let's just try and pull up. Uh, while we do that, let's just turn our copy lights on. By the way, B9 has the addition of sound effects for brakes. Well, wheels on landing, actually, but still. Right, pull up and gears in. So let's just fly a little bit away. Ideally, we want to be at least two kilometers before we change team. And if I can select that as a target. There we go. AAL MCG. That's uh, anti air lander. Medium caliber gun. There we go. That's what it stands for. So if we switch to here and. Yeah, we can't get a view from inside. And I don't have the improved chase uh, camera mod, which is a shame. Improved chase camera mod is particularly nice, but we will have to deal with vanilla. So we are now 4.2 kilometers. I think we can deal with it. So right click on the part. Toggle team. There are only two teams currently, but uh, that should be more than enough. Ah, improved chase camera mod. Now let's turn around. And... Weapon system has to be armed. Well, it doesn't have to be armed. We're going to arm it. And what we should find is that we get shot at. By the way, these are flares. Nice little smoke trail. I do really like the particle effect on the flares. Right, now we're coming in. We're about four kilometers away. We should be expecting to get some uh, incoming fire. When we hit a little bit closer. Oh, it's changed our target. There we go. Oh, there we go. We are getting shot at. Oh, we've taken hits. We're still controllable just about, but I think we are currently out of the field of fire of the guns. So I'm going to open up. Oh, it's firing again. Oh, we're down an engine. We're down an engine. Oh, we are down several parts of our plane. Afterburners are on, just trying to get us out of here. I don't think we're going to be able to really do this. Let us see if we can... No, we are. We're in a flat spin. And we are dead. So, yeah. Let's just disable that one for a second. Um... Switch toggle guard mode. There we go. Okay, so let's try out the missile one. Now, I've put a new missile rover there, mainly because the one over there is a bit derpy. I don't know why this one isn't working. But if we go to our new missile rover, we right-click here. Toggle guard mode. True. Uh, let's set the field of view to 360. The guard range can be at uh, 3500. will be fine. And then we just have to go next weapon to make it select the weapon. It's using the AIM 120A RAM missile. Not particularly maneuverable, but has a long range. So bear that in mind when picking your missile. We should be able to dodge these a little bit easier than some of the other ones. So let's just crank up. We're just kicking the afterburner for this takeoff. Let's just be really fast. We don't need the fuel efficiency, really. So hopefully we should be taking off. Oh, don't lose my back. There we go. Beautiful takeoff, 10 out of 10. Right, so down to two thirds throttle, should kick out the afterburner. Actually, just keep the afterburner on. We just need to get some distance between us and the uh, ADR. Anti something. Something. Medium range missile. I can't remember how I named that one. Uh, and if we hit. Come on. Toggle team. There we go! We have a beep from an incoming missile, so let's throttle down. I actually want the maneuverability. And let's go and climb for some height, because I'm planning to try and flip and fire off as many of our countermeasures as possible. So, here we go. Uh, I've angled it so the missiles fire straight up, so it's just going to get a lot of height before it turns over and comes for us, which is uh, probably a bit of a design flaw in the missile system itself, but it allows it 360 degree coverage. So here we go. It's closing. Oh! Oh! 
Oh well, that was that was a pretty good hit. I've got to admit that that missile owned us. Look, there's the debris. Oh, and look at the the smoke trails from the countermeasures. Ah, oh. I started firing the countermeasures too late. I think there. Wow, that one's just staying pretty pretty high up. Okay, huh. Okay, let's let's do it again. I don't want to be defeated. I'm I'm gonna refuse to be defeated. So. Okay, we're about two kilometers. It seems a reasonable distance which to switch our team. So, toggle team. There we go. Missile taking off. I'm going to throttle down. And it's coming for us. So I think it's time to start firing countermeasures. I'm going to do a hard flip down and to the left. There we go, we dodged that one. But we have more missiles incoming. Oh, this one looks like it's going to be close. Oh. Right, now we're under its ceiling of fire because, of course, those missiles fire straight upwards. I'm hoping we can pull off a shot. But I don't think we have the, uh, the ability to dip down far enough. Oh, this missile's going to go straight up in front of us. We got close. Right, okay. Where are those missiles? Okay, they are... They're coming for us. How far back are we? Right, that one is... 2.4 kilometers. 2.5. Distance is increasing, so... It seems to have lost its lock on us. Yeah, the missile's gone, right. Is it out of missiles? It just stopped firing for some reason. Nope, there we go. Missile firing. Okay, uh, right, so we need to pull around, dodge this missile, and come in for an attack. So, I'm dubious as to whether we'll manage this, but... Oh, it's got a good lock. It's got a good lock. This could be... Ooh, good, right. Okay, we dodged that. Okay, missile hit the ground. It would be easier with a joystick this. Let's try changing weapon. Did we kill it? Did we kill it? Yeah! Now we have this missile to worry about. It is coming in. No, it seems to have lost a lock. It's down. It's going. It's going. It's going down. Yeah, it's down. Mission success! Do 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 do. Do 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 do. There we go, right. So, what about that one we tried to beat earlier and, well, didn't quite manage? Let's try you. Toggle guard mode. Okay, mate. You're going down. Pull around to the side and see if we can come at it from this angle here. We'll try using the Gal. I'm the, I'm not a massive fan of the Vulcan gun, uh, just because you have to be pretty accurate. But it is pretty hilarious. Okay. Oh, oh! Not gonna have an effect, but they look cool. That's what matters, right? Okay, so it does have the gaps in its field of fire. This one, the uh, the Gal, the uh, the Vulcan cannons don't have the best field of fire, so we can actually get a bit closer. It probably would have helped if I'd given it some weapon with a better field of fire, uh, like the 50 cal turret, which does have a much better field of fire. Right here we go. Oh, we got owned. We must have got hit in the cockpit. Oh, large chunks of our plane are landing around us. Well, we're going to call it there for this episode of Mod Light. This has been uh, an update to BD Armory, which is down below. I thoroughly recommend it. It seems to be pretty lightweight. Um, oh, there, there is our plane. There is our plane. Can you see it going down the distance over there? I'll get you next time. So, if you've liked this episode, please like, and if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. As usual, stay shiny.